Hi, I'm Joel Jones. I own Jonesy's Inc., a company that specializes in auto restoration and customization. Okay, we're uh, getting ready to spray some primer on uh, a 64 Ford Fairlane project. And I want to walk through some of the safety equipment that are absolute necessities if you're going to try and spray any kind of paint product or modern paint product uh, on your own. I would not recommend that you do this in your garage. You can rent paint booths for not a lot of money or you can uh, try to establish some kind of relationship with a body shop and they can walk you through if you really want to be involved. But bare minimum, you're going to need the following products to do this safely. The first is a full paint suit. And the difference between a paint suit and a, uh, just a regular pair of coveralls is, is that these uh, resist uh, chemical as well as it has a full hood. So it comes up, it covers all of your exposed skin, uh, which is extremely important. A lot of the modern paint products can get absorbed directly through your skin and they wreak havoc on your liver and cause cancer and all of really, really terrible things. Again, you wanna protect your hands from the chemicals as well. So a reusable pair of gloves is an absolute must if you're gonna be handling um, any kind of paint products. And the most important, uh, safety equipment that you can have is a respirator. A supplied air respirator is by far the best and the safest, but you must have a good quality paint grade um, automotive respirator that covers your entire face. Chemicals can get absorbed directly into your bloodstream through your eyes and when you're spraying out atomized paint and you it hits you in the face it can go directly into your bloodstream through your eyes. So you definitely want to make sure that you've got a full face shield to protect your eyes and protect your lungs and protect your skin. Finally, you're going to need um, a paint gun. And I only use high volume, low pressure spray guns. This saves on paint, it saves on your compressor, and it helps uh, prevent uh, more environmental impact from um, volatile organic compound emissions. Um, your spray gun's going to need its own auxiliary filter just kind of to safeguard against any other contaminants getting into the airstream. It needs its own regulator at the gun and then it needs to be calibrated for the viscosity of the product that you're going to be spraying. I would recommend that if you're going to do this consistently and frequently you invest in two different types of guns. One is a primer gun and one is a top coat and a uh, clear coat gun. The primer gun has a much larger tip because the primers are a lot thicker uh, than the base coats or the clear coats.